Hey guys, it's DC here and today I'm going to answer your question on is it worthwhile getting IT certifications or a degree? So this is surprisingly actually a question that I've been getting a lot and uh, I just wanted to make this video to address that question. So. I think it's from mostly people who are in high school or coming from other industries who are wondering if they have to get certifications or a degree to get a job in cybersecurity. Now the short answer for you if you don't want to watch the rest of this video is yes. And that might seem obvious to you like it does to me but I'm going to explain why. So cybersecurity is just like any other IT job out there in the IT industry and it's it's a pretty big industry. To be able to get a job in these professional services industries you need to have some sort of certifications and often a lot of experience to back yourself up and to progress further within the industry. An example of this is I guess as an ethical hacker you need to have usually a minimum of like three years experience give or take and some certifications in IT, usually the CCNA, the OSCP, and maybe even a Security Plus. Do you need a degree with that? No, not really, but it definitely will help you to get a job further down the line, or even just your foot in the door, to be completely honest. I've also seen a lot of places now asking for different levels of clearance, especially with different government organizations out there asking people to get a clearance before actually getting a job, which is a little bit rough because a lot of the time you need to be sponsored by that whatever government it is that you're applying for a job at to be able to get that clearance. So it's a bit tricky, but you know, sometimes they just want someone who's coming from another government agency who already has a clearance to then move across into their agency, which is fine. That's it's an increasing. Uh, demand for clearances. Another way to get clearances is to join the army and it doesn't have to be just the army it could be the navy or the air force or whatever in the defense force but yeah you can get a clearance and a pretty good one from different defense forces around the world. A standard video cat needs to take a shit. Now to just expand on sort of why you need to have some sort of certification at least to get a job is A, because it's an industry standard, you just need to have it, and B, because everyone else applying for a job also has a certification or experience to back themselves up to get themselves into a job. Now, I know that sounds really daunting and sort of like, oh my God, how many certifications do I need? How much experience do I need? And there is a bottomless pit of information on the internet, as well as my own YouTube channel, if you want to look into exactly how much experience or which certifications you need to get to be able to get different cybersecurity jobs. But yeah, basically the short answer is yes, you definitely need to have some experience. So I guess I'll go with an example of my latest contract that I've just started one week ago. It's as a systems and network pen tester or ethical hacker. They classify it as an ethical hacker, but it just sounds so gawky when I say that. Now, to get this role, they wanted me to have a whole bunch of network certifications, a minimum of a CCMP, which I had, which was good, a whole bunch of cybersecurity certifications like the Security Plus, some government clearances, which mine have actually expired now, but they reckon they'll sponsor me if I ever have to do some work for government agencies again, which is nice because it's pretty expensive to get a clearance. And an OSCP, which um, is pretty much standard in Australia and most places in the world to become an ethical hacker in anything. They didn't care about a CH, which is a, an ever increasing thing. I do have one and I did tell them I had one and they didn't particularly care. So. That sort of reiterates what I've been saying for the last six months that the CEH is a bit of a waste of time and money at the moment. Unless that company that you're applying for a job at requires that certification, then obviously you need to get it. On top of that, I needed to have a lot of systems experience, specifically Azure, because that's the systems that I'm essentially trying to pen test here for different clients of theirs. So I needed to have the networking side, the system side, and then the experience on the back. Now they were asking for seven years or more of experience and I only have five years of experience in cybersecurity, give or take. But I do have around 15 years of overall IT experience. So that definitely worked for my advantage in getting this role. But to be honest, the main point that they said I got hired on was because I'm a personable person. I'm fairly well spoken and well presented, which is a critical part of this role apparently because I have to go out on site and talk with people and explain to them 
why their systems suck. So it's, it's sort of like a, a group of skills that you need to have for different roles, which brings me back to, do you need those certifications? And the answer is always yes. You definitely need those certifications to back yourself up. I know some people who are applying for different jobs and some people do get jobs without any certifications. It's extremely rare though, like super rare. So if you do get that opportunity and you know there's a job out there in ethical hacking or uh, as on a SOC team that doesn't require you to have any certifications, just prepare yourself for the shit fight that's gonna come afterwards of them uh, promising that you can do different services to customers without really knowing what's going on. And without any certification to back yourself up, it gets a little bit hard to prove yourself to that customer or organization that you're eventually working for. And the IT manager will eventually pick out the people who don't have certifications and find the people who are good at working anyway, who do not have certifications and then get them certified or just kick them out. So yeah, that's my uh, explanation on if you need to have any IT certifications or degrees or diplomas or any sort of qualification to get into cybersecurity. To say it again, the answer is definitely yes, you do need it. And uh, ask anyone who's a cybersecurity professional in any area of cybersecurity and they will definitely say the exact same thing. Different certifications apply to different jobs and different levels of experience apply to different levels of work that you're going to be doing. So definitely have a look at that. Have a look through some of my other videos for an explanation on exactly what I mean by that. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more and I'll see you all on the next video. Catch you later. I want this.